Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. We're going to be doing the shells right after that. We will be jumping into the tarot, okay? So let's see what Spirit has for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to your love and romance. Okay. All right, Libras, I see you guys very proactive when it comes to family. For some of you guys, it could be returning or going back um, uh, to what you would consider your childhood or your home, um, a lot of family ties. For some of you guys, you may be experiencing um, having to support or have emotional support with your partner. Uh, for some of them, they're going to be experiencing like some type of issues in regards to families. Uh, or to their family in general. Um, and I feel that they're going to be highly relying on your Libra for emotional support. Um, for some of you guys, it could be that they're dealing with uh, divorces um, within the family, like their parents divorcing. Um, for others, it could be like really nasty divorces and stuff like that. So I do see you guys and trying to find the balance and trying to be that emotional support that your partner is currently experiencing or needing at the present time. Now, for others of you, I do see that there is a, an inner struggle that's going on with a lot of you Libras out there. Um, it's almost like you're wanting, wanting to make a decision in regards to a relationship or a partnership, but at the same time, you've experienced or you kind of know what the outcome's going to be. So I see you guys very confused. For some, it could be that the relationship just hasn't, you know, uh, progressed the way you would want it to. Uh, for others of you, it could be dealing with like past issues from the relationship that are coming back to surface. And again, like I said, there's like an inner struggle going on where you're wanting to make a decision. For some, it could be like walking away from a relationship. For others of you, it could just be like, hesitating about ending the relationship or moving forward. It can also represent having to choose between two people. Um, so again, that's what I see with the shells. Now, give me one second. Let me ask. Okay. So what they're saying is for some of you guys, it could be having to make a choice between two people. Perhaps you're currently dating two people or seeing two people. For some of you guys, you may be experiencing a partner where you're in a third party type of situation um, that they're dealing with two other people. Um, but there is a decision that is going to be that is going to need to be made. And I don't feel that it's going the ball is going to be in the partner's court. I feel that it's going to be on your court, meaning um, if it is a situation that you're currently involved with someone that is in a third party or your partner that stepped out of the relationship, um, pretty much it, it depends on you what it is that you want to do in regards to that. Do you want to walk away and try to heal and see, you know, what other new beginnings come your way? Or are you going to stand still and continue putting up with a situation that you've been dealing with for quite a while, perhaps a pattern where they just haven't changed or they continuously keep doing the same thing? Um, now, the clarification that I got is for those of you guys that are currently single, you may actually be dealing with two people or uh, there's going to be two, two opportunities that come to you where you're going to feel restricted restricted in the sense of uncomfortability. So for some of you guys, it could be that um, the person of your interest does become available or they're wanting to get to know you or spend more time with you, but someone declares some type of feelings for you. Uh, so this is another person, meaning it could be when I feel uncomfortable situation, it could be like someone that we know or someone that's very close to us where you don't want to shut them out or you don't want to like say no uh, but at the same time, you're kind of, you don't really have that, those feelings for that person. So it could be a person that comes out to the open and tells you that they're interested in you. You don't want to reject them. Um, but at the same time, you know that you're not 
romantically, you know, you're not romantically interested in them. Um, so that's what they're showing me. Now let's get into your cards, Libra, and let's see what spirit has. Now the cards have been shuffled and cut for time purposes, so let's get right into it. Now, your current situation, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Queen of Cups, uh, Water Energy, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. For others of you, it could be reminiscing or spending or wanting to spend a lot of time with your mother figure, whatever mother figure may mean to you. Not necessarily the mother that birthed you, but it could be like a grandmother, that type of energy, someone that looks to you like their son or their daughter. Uh, or very nostalgic and being very much in your emotions. Now, you also have here the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands is the obstacle. For some of you guys, there's no communication or you haven't gotten communication. Uh, if you are dealing with the water energy, it could be that you're heavily wanting some type of communication and there's been like a someone's been blocked or they're just not answering your texts, not answering your calls, that type of energy. Now, we have here the king of cups and this is in the passing passing position so i feel that for some of you guys um i feel that for some of you guys you could have met your soulmate um now soulmate doesn't necessarily have to be uh you know someone that's meant to be in your life forever it's just the person that's going to bring you lessons that you need to learn about yourself and how to overcome. Um, but I do see the Queen of Cups looking towards the King of Cups. And when we have two royals um, of the same suit, it usually indicates a spiritual connection. Uh, for some of you guys, it could have been a very deep connection that you felt in the past. Uh, but then there was some type of blockage of communication or an ending that came Um and there's no, currently there's no communication or feeling like there's no communication. Now, your next card here is the temperance card. And temperance is all about patience and timing. Um, and this is in your very near future. So if you have experienced or if you've been experiencing like you feel like you missed out on an opportunity with someone that perhaps you felt very spiritually connected with, um, what they're saying is that there, there is a lot of things that are currently happening in that person's life as well as in your life where there is a lot of growth, self-growth that needed to happen on both spectrums, on both sides. Um, and with the temperance card, I feel that there will be some type of healing or there will be some type of opportunity to be able to communicate or to be able to actually experience communication from their side. Uh, but I think it's going to take a bit of time or a while before that happens. Yeah, this is a soulmate connection. Now we have the two of cups here. So the two of cups is the crowning energy. For some of you guys, it could be like having that aha moment uh, or feeling like, yes, this is the person that was for me or this is the person for me. Uh, for some of you guys, you may actually still be dealing with them, but there is lack of communication. Like there's no communication happening in the present time. Um, but again, like I said, there is definitely a spiritual connection here. Now, your next card is the three of wands. For some of you guys, distance could have been involved. For others of you, there could be a feeling of like missing the person or wanting to reach out with no communication or lack of communication. I feel that distance could be something that played a very important role in this separation or in the stop of progress in this connection. For others of you, it could have been that you were dealing with the third party type of energy where you felt spiritually pulled with this person, but um, circumstances or situations happened that kind of drifted your sail or you uh, decided to go the opposite way uh, where now you're feeling left like you kind of missed out on that opportunity or will it ever happen? Will we ever connect again? That type of energy. Now, the lover's card here is signifying to me that you're currently feeling like there is like you need to make a decision because you're at crossroads right now. So the, the lover's card, I see it as like a fork uh, when you're at a fork at crossroads where you need to make a decision, but 
there's a lot of hesitation because there's a lot of uncertainty behind it. Now, if you were dealing with the third party energy, now this could be vice versa, you guys, it is a general reading. If you experienced that there was a soulmate connection with someone and perhaps they stepped out of the relationship or you yourself decided to end the relationship, um, but you still have them in your mind with the advice card of the lovers, what they're telling you is don't sit there and wait for things to happen. If you need to go out of your way to make it happen, you need to do it, but you need to do it now because time is of the essence. So when I see the temperance and the three of wands, there is energy coming forth towards this person where if they make a decision before you reach out or before you try to communicate with them, it's going to completely change not just their life, but it's going to change your life as well, Libra. So for some of you guys, it could just represent that there is a, it could be another opportunity for them in regards to love. And if you sit there and wait to reach out, what's going to happen is they're probably going to end up jumping into another relationship, um, especially if you've been dealing with this for quite some years now. Um, what they're saying is they are emotionally ready to move on. So is there an opportunity to be able to reconnect and rekindle? Yes, I do see that. But again, it's going to come at the expense of you making that movement or that choice, especially if it was you, Libra, the one that walked away from this connection or the one that got into another relationship, okay? Now, your next card here is the king of pentacles for some of you guys this could be an earth sign taurus capricorn virgo for others of you it could be a gemini with the lovers or sagittarius or a water energy but this is the energy of the person currently involved or the energy surrounding the person of your interest and it's the king of pentacles so i do see them as um the type that is very monogamous again like i said if you are dealing with someone or we're dealing, sorry, with someone that it was of an earth energy, um, it takes them a very long time to move on or it takes them a very long time to heal. But if that very long time has already occurred, then chances are they're probably open to love again. And if that's the case, then you're close of op the door of opportunity starting to close for you. So there has to be some type of movement. Now, your next card here is the Eight of Pentacles. Again, like I said, if you're wanting to put effort or if you're wondering if you can actually fix this or if this relationship still has some type of um, some type of opportunity, yes, there is. It's going to take a lot, a lot of detail or paying attention to detail, meaning if you are dealing with the person that was from a distance and perhaps they you have no longer you don't know exactly what's going on in their life what they're telling you is that yes you're going to have to put in the effort to try to make that work or to try to rebuild that connection that you guys had at some point um they're speaking directly about this person either going through healing or that they've already completed the healing so any animosity or anger that they may have been holding or feeling towards you is no longer there. Um, so again, it could have been that this is for some of you guys, this could be something that's been going on for the past three years. Um, for others of you, it could have been three months ago that there was some type of separation or some type of pulling away. Now, if you guys are in a long-term committed relationship, perhaps someone in the relationship stepped out of the relationship and what they're speaking about is that, yes, you will be able to rebuild this relationship or to fix it or to work it out, but it's going to take you genuinely wanting to put that effort, Libra. And finally, your card here is the King of Swords, and this is your energy, Libra. Um, again, like I said, I think that there's a lot of healing that needs to happen with you as well as I think that what they're saying is that this person is either still going through that healing and you haven't accepted or you haven't taken some type of responsibility. And that's what needs to happen in order for you to start healing yourself, Libra. Um, again, like I said, if you are in a long-term or committed relationship and it was you the one that stepped out of the relationship and you haven't fully accepted um, 
now is the time to do that if you're wanting to rebuild or fix this relationship. Now I'm going to be pulling out a card from the Moonology Oracle cards, and this is a message that is directly for you. Wow. So what they're saying is a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. This is your energy, Libra. And what they're saying is exactly that, that if you were dealing or still dealing with this situation and you're trying to understand if you're going to be able to rebuild or to fix the relationship, what they're telling you is, yes, a new cycle starts to begin. But in order for us to fully embrace the new beginning, we have to balance the scales. And that starts with taking self-responsibility. Or if this was done to you, Libra, um, in order for you to be able to heal, you need to take full responsibility of whatever it was that that relationship lacked. Meaning, did you have something to do with them stepping out of the relationship? Of course, we never want to accept that. But in a broader in a broader sense, um, were you emotionally closed off or were you not emotionally available to them? Was their communication lacking? Was their absence because of distance, that type of energy? So in order to begin a new cycle, you need to balance the scales. And that means seeing things clearly and concisely for what they are, accepting what has happened or what is done and being able to accept whatever it is that we played a part in to be able to bring the balance and to be able to say, you know what, I take responsibility for this or for that. Um, figuring out if you still love them. And if you do love them, is it still worth fighting for? And if you are willing to fight for this, they're telling you this is a, con a genuine connection. So of course it's worth fighting for. Um, now, for those of you, again, that I said, for those of you guys that are in a long-term a committed relationship and there was a breakage or someone stepping out, a new romantic cycle begins and it's a new moon in your sign, Libra. Uh, this is an indication of being able to, again, like I said, balance the scales and being able to have an opportunity to rebuild and to fix the relationship. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed these readings, like, share, and comment. And uh, stay tuned for our next reading in January. We have a lot of new beginnings. So I want to wish you guys a happy and merry Yule. Merry Christmas and happy New Year's to all of you guys. I hope you guys spend this amazing holiday season with your loved ones and those that matter most to you. Till then, we'll see each other soon. Bye.